Welcome back to Studio 5. My next guest is challenging us to change up our morning routine and start our days with more intention. Therapist Kristen Hodgson says setting aside just six minutes in the morning changed her day and it can change your day too. So I'm guessing we're not jumping out of bed the second that alarm clock goes off. No. That's my first mistake. What I start, well, and it's not even the alarm clock. I had three little kids that uh -huh. would come to me and I'm like, before I even knew it, my day was set and I'm responding to needs and demands before I even had an idea of what my day wanted to look like. You were on the racetrack. Yes. This idea, this concept of living with intention came from a book, The Morning Miracle. Yeah. I, I came across it, stumbled across it. I showed my husband and I was like, do I have, honestly, do I have a second to add one more to do? And then when I was like, I can do this for six minutes. All right, let's start there. So we did and we dedicated one minute to each of those things. Okay. And it was amazing to see just what six minutes of intention, how it changed my day how com did completely. How did it change your day? I just had a lot more focus. I felt grounded. I was starting centered with me at the center of it. Again, instead of just responding to whatever's coming down the pipeline. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a chance to kind of just get clear with me. We're going to take this through minute by minute. Minute number one is to visualize and breathe. Yeah, so this is where you really are taking a minute, um, meditating. I really love a website called calm.com and you're just taking a minute, focusing on your breath and visualizing what do I want for my day? How do I imagine myself? How does the day flow? How does it go? So Simple more than just that. a morning prayer or a morning moment right. of meditation, you're kind of projecting forward what you want mm -hmm. to come to you. Yes. Um, lots of women wait to write in their journal in the evening, but you suggest considering a morning journal. Yeah, and I found that for myself that I'd be like, I need to journal that. And night would come and I was exhausted. So take a minute, have your journal already set out, okay, and write for one minute. And before you know it, you have now just written every single day that's one more minute than you were doing. Now, what are you writing in the morning exactly? Because I'm still a little foggy brained. I, yeah. It takes me a minute to get going. So what's a sample of what you would put in your morning Sometimes journal? it's, it's a, a memory or something that happened the day before that I want to write. Okay. Sometimes it's just free flow thought. Like I just wake up and I just start, here's a dream, here's a thought I had, here's something I want to remember, something I want to do. You just write. There's I'm, zero rules. I'm going to try that because it's hard yeah. at night too, right? When you're it drifting is. off and your mind is mush. Basically at either end of the day, it's a little difficult, but I'm going to try that. You like to start your day too with an exercise in positive thinking. In fact, we have a clip from a throwback Saturday Night Live skit that comes to mind every time you do this. This is SNL's Stuart Smalley's Daily Affirmations. It was a hit back in the 90s. Let's take a look. I'm going to do a terrific show today and I'm going to help people because I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. I just, is that where I got that affirmation that I do every day? Is that when I tell people <laughs> affirmations, they're typically like, really? Is that what you want? Guess what? I have to be honest. I don't think I could do an affirmation in a mirror, I should say, with a right. straight face. No, you, I don't do the mirror. Okay, thank you. But you, you can write it down in present tense because what is amazing is, as jokey as that is, yeah. when we start moving into I am and we have these affirmations in, and these beliefs, we really start to believe them. We really start to step into them because our brain doesn't know the difference. And so even journal that, write your affirmations down. Um, I put on here, because I know you have a lot of bloggers, of like, I am a successful blogger. I am an amazing cook. All these different things. Start putting those in the I am. I am confident. I, I am, am confident. Capable. I'm a great mom. Okay. All right. We're, you're all about the one minute at home workout. How does exercise add purpose to your day? Just starting the morning, getting blood pumping and oxygen. And this is where I tell women to really cut it back. So they're like, I need to do it in 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Just do something. I started off doing um, jumping jacks for one minute. Just bedside? Just bedside. Okay. And then I came across an Instagram feed called Pure Fit, Pure Food. Mm -hmm. And they have some exercises that I just logged on and I saw and I was like, I can do those. And so I started adding that. I love how doable that looks. It's just very a doable. chair in your dining room. Yep. That's what I love about it is I don't have to have fancy equipment. I don't have to do anything other than I can do them in my bedroom or downstairs. Finally, you like to start your day off with reading. Does it matter what you read or for how long? No, a meaningful book, self-help, um, just something that, again, it's setting that time aside that never shows up at the end of the day. It's doing it right at the beginning. I think this is a mind shift a lot of women will appreciate. And with six minutes, we can six do minutes. it. Six minutes. Yeah, yeah, very doable. Kristen, thank you. Where can we get more inspiration from you? You can go to thehealinggroup.com. All right, thank you. Thanks. We'll be right back.